Hi, welcome to What To Buy, the show that tells you what to buy when you want to buy. Each episode, we'll be covering a different component to tell you what you need to know when building a PC. Today, we'll be covering processors. So what is a processor? A processor is the brain of the computer. Uh, it's where all the thinking is done. A faster processor means that your computer will run faster. For those of you who know computers, this is a no-brainer. These processors may be stacked together to create multi-core processors, which is essentially what it says on the box. Several processors stacked on each other to do the thinking at the same time. There are two main manufacturers for PC processors. Intel and AMD. For the purpose of this guide, we will stick to the more popular Intel Core i series and AMD's FX and A series processors. These are the most popular and most generic on the market. There are other manufacturers and other lines, but those are more complicated and you probably will not use them. What processor should you choose? Well, it all depends on what you intend to use it for. If you're a gamer, you may need something more powerful. In other words, whatever money you have, that is what you are going to spend. For high performance work, such as complex calculations done by physicists or rendering by architects, you will need something a bit more mid-range. You won't have to spend all your money, but put a little extra thought into this. For people who are only working, such as office workers, and only watching YouTube, like everybody out there, you may skimp on your processor a little bit. I wouldn't recommend skimping too much, but most processors will be able to handle the 1080p videos that you will want to watch. Let's cover Intel first. Intel currently has two generations of processors on the market. The third generation Ivy Bridge and the fourth generation Haswell. First of all, let's go over how to identify them. To recognize which generation processor you are looking at, you will have to look at the product ID number behind the i, which is i5, i3, or i7. The leftmost number of the four-digit serial will tell you which generation it's from. If it is a three, it's a third generation processor. If it's a four, it's from the fourth generation, which is the most current. When choosing between a third and fourth generation processor, there's not much difference in terms of performance due to the fact that the fourth generation was mostly concentrated on saving battery life and design for mobile. However, the fourth generation processor does require a different socket from the third generation. Therefore, if you want to future-proof your computer, you might want to choose the later version. Some processors have different letters at the end of the name. This could mean many things. For instance, the K means that the processor is unlocked, allowing it to be overclocked if so you wish. And X at the end of the name signifies the extreme version. This is the overclock version with slightly more power and a lot more expensive. As far as classification goes, the Core i7 is the high performance for you gamers out there. The mid-range is the i5 and the budget conscious version is the i3. Let's move on to AMD. AMD classifies their products differently. What they have are the processor-only chips, known as the FX series, and the accelerated processing unit, APU. An APU combines a processor and a graphics card into a single chip. The easiest way to tell them apart is that the APU series will always start with an A in the name. The FX series naturally also starts with an FX. Telling processors apart later is rather difficult when it comes to AMD, due to the fact that the naming conventions are all over the place. Here's a simple graphic to help clear it up. Well, that's it for processors. I hope you enjoyed the video, but don't rush out to buy anything just yet. Next episode, we will be covering graphics cards. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.